and we promise. The Scent of a Lie is a book you should pick up. Paolo da Costa wrote this book. It's up for, it won the Caribbean and Canadian version of the, of the Commonwealth Writers Prize, and it's up for the overall prize. Local author, congratulations, that's good for you. Thank you very much. How did it feel to get uh, to win and then to be, not, or to be up for the next big one? Oh, it was ecstatic. It a dream come true. It must be. I can't imagine. Now, and, uh, now tell me a little bit about Scent of a Light takes place in two towns in Portugal. Before we talk about that, tell me a little bit about how long it took to get this book published. Uh, it's been a long road. Um, it was written within a year, probably. It yeah. just came very naturally. And then I spent five years trying to get it published across Canada. It was refused by many, many, many publishers. <laughs> <laughs> you always hear that story about, and it happens a lot to writers. They send it and send it and send it, and yours yeah. was no exception. Yeah, it's, it's very competitive. Is it? Yeah. Then it finally got published, and then what happened? Uh, then it just, uh, it was published in the fall, and it's, it's been very well received, you know? It's, it's been shortlisted for awards, and... Isn't that great? And I'm receiving great feedback, so I'm very, Happy. <laughs> you must be. Well, I got it. You, you lived a long time in Portugal itself, and so a lot of your stories are about that. I'm going to ask you about two characters that I really love. Prudencio Casmuro. He, uh, he eats fresh fruit when he gets up in the morning. He's, he's, lived, he's outlived seven wives. He doesn't own a clock and refuses to wear a watch. What is it about him that you liked, and why did you write about him? Uh, I like his character because he's close to the earth, and uh, actually that's a connection to Canada. That's why I love Canada, the wilderness the openness, the, just the flavorful uh, food. And I think Prudencio reflects a kind of a world that I still long for and that I grew up in, where everything tastes as it should and it's colorful. Isn't that great? You uh, lived in Portugal, grew up, born in Africa, lived in Portugal, toured the world for a few years, and decided to live here. Why? Uh, I love the people, I love the landscape. I believe Western Canadians are very open, um, warm, uh, you know, to compensate for the weather. I was going to say, <laughs> wait a minute, warm. But yeah, there's, we, we have our own warmth regardless. Tell me also, Florindo Ramos is another character you get to meet mm -hmm. who loves the trees. How much of the trees is Canada? How much of the trees is Portugal? Uh, both. I, I grew up. Uh, in the hills of northern Portugal, a grape growing area and very green. And I also have lived in Banff for a couple of years, mm. and whenever I could, I would just escape to the back country. And there's something about the greenness and the freshness of the air that comes with trees. Now, you met so. a bear in, in the mountains face to face. What was that like? Ah, oh, that changed my life. and and made me decide to stay in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gained great respect for uh, the animals that populate in the Western Canada and everything aligned once I met that bear. You know, my life became clear. It's, life is short. It can be very short. Wow. And I decided, let's do what I love to do. Let's write. <laughs> Good for you. What a great decision. McNally Robinson today at lunch hour. The Scent of a Lie. Paolo da Costa is going to be reading a bit from his book, and you can meet him there. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Pleasure to have you with us. Jeb? Thank you, Dave Kelly. It is World Asthma Day.